Well, uh, this is April 23rd and uh, this is episode 5 of Bonfire Evening Talks. Here we have uh, me, we have Alessia, uh, we have Kirill and Kate, and uh, we have Vadim, uh, our permanent guest, who today has changed his image slightly. So, um, yeah. uh, and, you know. yeah, and um, hello to the chat. Uh, there is, uh, I think, uh, three people there, <clears throat> and there are already some commentaries. Uh, who are these guys? I've already told. Uh, fly, flying is freedom. That's a good argument. Uh, ships full of old ladies are bad, not planes. So uh, that's, I guess, an argument for the planes. Uh, what I would like to, what I wouldn't like to do, is to talk about coronavirus anymore. I mean, it's, uh, it's, <laughs> it's like it's coming back and coming back every hour stream every time and uh, I think it's becoming a, a faux pas to talk about this uh, with the uh, well um, with people who have one yes <laughs> news about coronavirus. come on man exactly. I hear that uh, our factory the European parts of Russia maybe in Gustalny uh, started to produce a souvenir in, for, in shape of uh, coronavirus, made of glass and steel, maybe to protect from memorable moments. Well, yeah, memorable. What is said about this is that we're always losing chances to earn money. I mean, um, we always kind of get uh, information very late, like with uh, spinners, with Bitcoin, face masks. Uh, now souvenirs. I mean, if we had came up, had, had, had come up with this with, with this idea like in in February or in March, then maybe. But now it's too late. It's April already. But well, maybe there is a chance. But anyway, I don't have a budget for that, unfortunately. So by the way, do you know uh, do you know what day is today? Uh, I mean, there are many holidays, but just one interesting. Uh, celebration is happening. One day before scholarship. Uh, and day be World uh, Panda Protection Day. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, Panda Protection Day. Okay. Also, today is the day of the English language. And uh, today mm -hmm. is also the day of books, the National Day of Books. So, speaking of oh. pandas, speaking of pandas, uh, I just wanted to come back to China again. Uh, and Kate, could you tell us, are they different? I mean, do you feel that we are very different from those who live there? Uh, was it was it hard to integrate into their society? Um, now, now I'm feeling like I'm giving an interview. Yeah. <laughs> Kate, what do you think about this? Movie? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, probably, yeah, because, you know, people in China mostly live without the Internet. And... I think that they are, how to say, uh, so there are a lot of people and they, first of all, they like to do everything together. When they try to solve a problem, they always gather in a circle and try to solve one simple problem together in a group. And I think that um, individual thinking is not for them. And that's why they sometimes seem quite stupid to foreign people. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, I'm not a racist. Uh, China is uh, nearly uh, in their last place uh, of um, press freedom. Like, there yeah. is a rating, and China is like 147, I suppose. And the last, of course, is North Korea, but China is... Well, this is, this is global, global statistics that's uh, not personal experience. I'm quite interested in personal experience. Like, did you feel, yeah, com actually, did, did you feel comfortable yeah. there? Comfortable, yeah, but to to uh, talking about what Alessia has said, yeah, it's true, because as I have said, so people in China don't use the global internet mostly, mm -hmm. and they 
it's kind of feeling that they live in their own in their own world like in a bubble mm -hmm. and but for me personally it was quite quite comfortable because they usually are very friendly to foreign people and mm -hmm. so uh, just what about food uh did you have uh, traditional um, conventional food for yourself or did you have to adjust to new um, types of cuisine yeah I've tried some new types of food for example I've eaten hot pot and I've eaten frogs and it was quite tasty mm -hmm. uh, but in general they eat a lot of noodles and a lot of rice in different variations and it's quite good but I get tired of it too quickly so i couldn't eat too too much chinese food i always got bored and tired and tried to find something more european mm -hmm. have you like uh, what is your favorite meal chinese meal mm, i don't know probably hot pot is quite good but it depends. It can be very different if you if you if you know what to fill to fill it with. So it can be quite good. What Does is what is hot count? pot? Hot pot is kind of a pot <laughs> with hot water, and uh, you go a uh, you go to a hot pot restaurant, mm -hmm. and you have kind of a menu where you choose what to put into your pot, and then they cook it all together with some noodles, shrimps frogs just mm -hmm. anything that you want mm -hmm. and then you have a big pot um in the in the middle of the table and usually you go there with friends because it's a lot and then you just all together take your parts from this big pot mm -hmm. and like this and what about beer kirill you said uh yeah i asked kate if uh, she considered beer being uh, a meal mm, i wouldn't say so <laughs> because they have they have pretty unusual ones for example like pineapple beer but it's not beer exactly it's like soft drink uh -huh. juice yeah that's what i meant like pineapple and mango beers mango all, all different types of tastes as i remember but no actually these different Flavors. types of these different types of beer i they are not chinese hmm. because i i bought them in in a bar where a lot of european drinks were hmm. so it was not chinese thing okay now you know that i drink beer <laughs> A scene. Why? Why would I like? I mean, okay. I mean, <laughs> great. I, I guess. Uh, is it achievement? Is it uh, something you are not comfortable revealing? Uh, ah, no, no, I'm okay with that. Okay, all right. Um, so I have to share a secret, I guess. Like uh, last uh, March, before Africa, I began smoking like oh. the first time in my life yeah and uh so that's like now you also know a secret have you been doing, <laughs> have have you been doing that since mm, yeah because that's kind of uh, it's actually a very stupid activity because i like the smell not the not the taste and when you when you smoke you feel the taste so what i what i used to do was i just used it like a an aroma candle uh, but now i um i am the aroma candle <laughs> i well, guess <laughs> what is the point of an aroma candle yeah i don't i mean i don't know when my neighbors smoked i always enjoyed it very much and uh, like you know people usually complain that well they hate when there's neighbors smoke and i i, I always say well that's actually what made me happy and very convenient because uh, you just you don't need to have anything to, to do anything i'd say quite peculiar yeah usually when i can smell smoke i want to kill people who are smoking around me <laughs> like right. like like literally 
it's uh, it's a good thing that we're having this conversation online. I'm, I'm not I'm not smoking right now, uh, so as you can see. And uh, oh, I remember. Oh, sorry. Yes. I just re I just remembered one more thing from China from Chinese cuisine. They have um, just a big variety of different dumplings with different stuff with different uh, stuffing, and they are they are great. Do they call them uh, dim sum or it's something different? Yeah, yeah, dim sum. Mm. Mm. So it's dim sum, not dim sum. Dim sum. Mm -hmm, yeah, dim sum. Okay. Well, people in the chat say uh, Andy went down. Yeah, sure. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. <clears throat> there is no secret. Like regarding people, regarding people who hate. Okay, who hate smoke, like our neighbors, like our, when they cook, we feel smell. When they drink, we feel this smell. When they smoke, smoke and smoke, we feel, we feel smell, like in my room, in a uh, hall, uh, everybody, everywhere is this, everywhere this smoke is, like, it's, it's, it, it makes me mad because I had this smell. But anyway, uh, fortunately, I'm not ill with coronavirus because the first, uh, Signal, I'm sorry, but uh, you lose your um, ability to uh, to feel the smell, and so keep positive, and that's all. But really, like I had this smell because um, uh, this cigarette smell uh, can just um, go through everything, through walls, through floor, through everything. I have a question. You said when they cook, you 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 smell, you you feel the smell. Do they cook cigarettes? <laughs> can I? Can, can... I they cook everything, but we feel it in their own kitchen. And when, especially when uh, something uh, has been burned, we feel this smell. The cigarettes were burned. I mean, can I know the recipe? I. <laughs> <laughs> I will try to guess, but. <laughs> yeah. And I will try to ask. K Kirill, you had a question uh, or commentary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. First. Uh... Where can we see the chat you keep mentioning? Uh, is it only visible to you? No, you can open Good Game, uh, the the stream, and uh, I can drop you the link if you want. Uh, and there you'll be able to see it. Yeah, I would like that. Mm -hmm. Or oh, you can just go Please. to... Uh, and also, I, su uh, uh -huh. I suggest regarding the word coronavirus as uh, Voldemort's name, that it's something that, that shouldn't be named. Must not, Must be. not be named. Yeah, sorry, my poor knowledge of Harry Potter. <sighs> Amateur. <laughs> well, I I totally second this position. Um, I have no wish to discuss this um, this topic, especially that when I went to the street and I saw hordes of people walking around, I was like, "What? I mean, I'm trying to behave and be a responsible citizen, but..." Uh, I actually quite lose the point of what is happening. Uh, like, if anything is happening, actually. Spring is happening. Yes, but I mean, the fact that the sun is shining doesn't mean anything. I mean, uh, it's uh, very, it's, it's, it's strange. I feel ridiculous that everything is just a kind of, uh, how to call it, uh, bad, bad performance. And so, yeah. Um, let me drop the link. Oh, I need to answer my phone. Uh, are there any masks in Hangouts? I've, I've read something about that, that we can all wear those masks. Those masks. Uh, special yeah. yeah, yeah, right. Those ones. I in Hangouts. haven't seen this uh, yet. No, I haven't. Maybe it's some additional uh, extension or an application. Uh, I've, I've dropped oh, you the thanks. link. Uh -huh. You can open and you'll see yeah. the chat now. I wonder where Bill went, uh, like why why he isn't uh, trying to come back at all. 
Maybe he went conquering the the highest, the tallest point <laughs> in his location. <laughs> well, then he's going to the Table Mountain. That's uh, eight hours in total, and uh, so he'll have to spend uh, like four hours to get there. And uh, well, he can rush to the lion's head. That will take if he hurries up. Maybe one hour and thirty minutes. So he might he might be able to make it. Uh, like join us before we finish. Uh, What's the difference between Lion Head and Table Mount? And in, in heights. Oh, in heights. Well, not that much, I would say. Uh, I think the difference is just that uh, Lion's Head is basically this triangular thing, while uh, Table Mountain is table thing it's flat. it's flat, flat yeah like a table while people are coming back if they're coming back i'd like to actually come to uh, arrive to this uh, our topic about uh books so uh what books have you read recently that really impressed you? Maybe not necessarily books, but just something that you've read recently. Uh, journals, uh, articles, uh, some just little piece of information, but books, of course, uh, are the most interesting thing here. Uh, so could you make some examples? Maybe what jumps to your head, if anything? Uh, it's quite difficult to impress me in the like in the full meaning of the words. Uh, I can only say about something that I liked. I've been reading this book for for a few months now because I'm a slow reader and I stopped a few times mm -hmm. and resumed. Uh, it's called uh, "The Notes of a Primate" by Robert Sapolsky, who is a primatologist. Uh, Stanford University professor, and uh, and so on and so on. I is it not, is it the uh, one who has lectures about depression on YouTube? I'm pretty much sure that because he is. I, 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 I watched Sapolsky about depression on YouTube, and it was from from Stanford. I think it's him. I, I guess he is. I guess mm -hmm. he. Is. I know that he has some lectures on on YouTube. But mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Okay, so what's the book? The notes of a primate, and mm -hmm. it tells about his career in uh, Africa and how he studied the depression that you mentioned in uh, Pavians. And uh, he had tried to compare it to the diseases that are caused by depression in people, mm -hmm. in humans. And, but not only that, it's just, it's like a background to uh, various stories that occurred uh, while he was there, which are pretty, pretty interesting, for lack of another word. Yeah, he he found himself in the middle of a civil war in Uganda. He also had some smuggling experience. And lots of things that he's not i'm sure he's not proud of now but he tells about them in a humorous way and uh, here and now he also gives some info about the family or a pack rather of uh, pavians that he was studying so mm -hmm. that's something that can bring um, some fun times i mean some quality reading time to you how 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 did you arrive at this book how did it like end up uh, in your hands uh a friend gave it to me as a present for my birthday mm -hmm. yeah so this is how do you know why this choice oh uh, she she's interested in things like well in how do you describe it like popular science mm -hmm. It's the, the usual science is pretty difficult to understand. It's, it may be boring at times. So we were discussing 
this and that and different uh, guys who make science more popular and this is what i ended up with as a result mm -hmm. also because i love monkeys and she knows that you do monkeys and, monkeys and apes yeah those are my favorite animals um have you met one in person <laughs> uh, in circus or in the zoo? Mm -hmm. uh, is it a possible to have monkey as a uh, domestic animal? Russian? Oh, it's possible no. to have any animal as a pet. No, legally, I mean. <laughs> legally? Uh, yeah, some types of monkeys for sure. Maybe all of them. I don't know. I heard chimpanzee is very aggressive animals and uh, they are not permitted to be out. In okay. It depends on training, mostly. But yeah, some, some people keep tigers in their backyard and bears, so I wouldn't be surprised that someone, if someone had a, a chimpanzee or a gorilla even. Would you like to have one? Uh... Yeah, <laughs> it's, one, it's one of my dreams. I want to have... Uh, it's like, I, I don't remember the name in English. I guess it's something like Pygmy marmoset, mm -hmm. Pygmy marmoset. Oh, it's Karlikova igrunka in okay. Russian. Okay. Like what that. is? Well, I think I I know the image of this monkey. It's very. It's a lovely animal. I mean, it looks really cute. So, is it is is it about the cuteness of the of the creature? Or yeah, and the size. Like that? that and the size, because they're this height, and you can put them in your uh, third pocket. And they can uh, stick out of the, I mean, stick their head out. Are they that small? Yeah, yeah, just Ooh. the size of your hand maximum. Or usually the middle finger mm. of a of a man. I think it depends on the, on the size of a, of your hand. Mm. Yeah, we'll never of an average uh, man's hand. But this monkey is smart. Uh, <laughs> that would be hard to... In comparison evaluate. with cats or dogs, for example. I guess, yeah, I guess all monkeys are smarter Martin. than... In, yeah, in comparison with cats or dogs, because they're, they're closer to dolphins, I would say. But then again, between the, their species and their kinds, the, the intellect also varies. Um, Can you... Uh, wait. Yeah. Have you cut your hair? Have I, you mean yeah, you I had have. a tail? I have, yeah. Uh, right before this happened. Luckily for me. Before, Luckily, yeah. Be before, yeah because be I, before the call, you mean? Uh, yeah. <laughs> right, right. I would like to, uh, I wanted to present a new look and the image. Uh, so, I. I wonder why um, people change their hairstyle drastically, like if you cut your hair, mm -hmm. was it a symbolic action or just that nothing really big no, was behind it? Nothing symbolic. I just, uh, I'm one of those people who like experiments while they can experiment. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've tried different hairstyles and when you stick to one, it's just gets boring at one stage so you have to change something uh, i haven't dyed uh, my hair pink or yellow or blue yet so maybe this is the this is the next thing that's going to happen mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. next stage next level next stage yeah because I... I see it, it gets popular in people i see it every time in the street mm. will you dye your beard oh, well <laughs> Who knows? Why not? I mean, if I, if I dye my hair, why why not the beard? Or wait uh, 40 years, for example. Yeah, I, I am afraid I won't have any hair left. I mean, beard. beard. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it will be dyed in grey or in white, too, naturally. It's a funny, uh, men can lose uh, their hairs on the head, but never lose uh, Beer. Luckily, as no arms, as I know. By the Many way, old men have a... why? 
Uh, because uh, different uh, kind of hairs and uh, different hormones play different roles in our bodies. Hmm. Actually, our hair, hairs on the head uh, uh, are affected by uh, andro hormones, and uh, but uh, the hair on the hair. And in another parts of our bodies are quite different and affectionate. Yeah, also, uh, if you don't cut the hair on your head, it keeps uh, growing longer and longer, seemingly without limit. But it doesn't happen with hair on your arms or anywhere on your body. Mm -hmm. Like, there is a limit. Uh, we, don't, we don't go... I suspect that Friendly. they just uh, we, we just uh, lose them uh, regularly and uh, don't uh, pay much attention and they start uh, to grow again. <laughs> Very interesting book, yeah. I dyed my hair. Some of you might remember uh, three years ago. Um, I dyed not my hair, but my uh, temples, and uh, I actually not, I didn't dye, I was that bleached and then dyed, so, mm -hmm. uh, because the bleach was horrible. Uh, my, my pigment is very strong, so my hairdresser didn't want to do that. I asked her, uh, like, please try, and she did. And so my hair became yellow, like bright yellow. And that was, of course, like, uh, it looked uh, disgusting. And then we bleached them again at the same, the same time. My hair became yellowish, uh, but still quite strong yellow. And then that's how I went to work next day. After that, I went to... <laughs> I went to a different master and that master bleached my hair again the third time and then he dyed my hair and uh, after that they uh, my, my, my hair became 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 gray and uh, <laughs> so it was gray until maybe the next week started so it wasn't a long lasting effect unfortunately so I, I, I could use shampoo this uh, pig pigment containing shampoo so uh, my hair was uh, kind of grayish, mixed grayish, yellow, blue, depending on how much shampoo I used. Um, and then it, uh, I think it took me six months to grow uh, back my normal hair. At the same time, it was quite a nice experience. I mean, looking at the photos now, of course, I freak out. But uh, I at the same time remember that uh, after some time passed, um, I quite liked the the, the gray uh, part in my hair because I actually dream of white or gray hair, and uh, I have no chance to get to get it uh, anytime soon because of the strength of my pigment and because of genetics. I see my parents, my grandparents; their pigment was very strong, and I will not age quickly uh, unless I just well. Let's not talk about options. So uh, I I don't I don't have this kind of uh, predisposition to to have gray hair soon, which makes me so sad. Yeah, <laughs> I would say lucky you. Nah, gray hair is so beautiful, uh, so so wise. So it has this air of some uh, some uh, spiritual adventure. Some depth of the character some some heartbreaking story behind so uh like uh, rust van dorin like um well that guy from spider-man who always demanded photos of uh, spider-man and <laughs> so and uh somebody else uh, i don't remember who ah yeah chester bennington had uh, gray hair in uh numb uh, video clip. I think that's where I got my kind of uh, imprint about gray hair. I thought he was an old man. I always tell this story. I saw this clip. I thought Chester Bennington was like 50 55 as well. That old man is sitting quite well. I love the song. And then I, I learned that he was like 
20 something there and uh, that was uh, such a big surprise yeah all right let's see well, what was the result that you were expecting that time well pretty what i pretty what i got i mean like that it would be horrible first and then i would uh, <laughs> try to correct it with a different master and uh, yeah so that's what happened i think i i wanted to experiment as you said i wanted to experiment i wanted i wanted to give it a go it was my first time experimenting with my hair and uh, it was it, it was important to prove to myself that i could do something uh, actually, you know, you know, uh, in the past, uh, people used to wear wigs, and it was kind of fashion. But today, it uh, totally uh, doesn't exist at all. Why? Maybe it will be funny to wear a wig. <laughs> yeah, I would like that. <laughs> Imagine our stream with wigs. Yes. But I know uh, that uh, I, I read that uh, people in medieval times, or maybe in Renaissance, were uh, weeks uh, uh, because of hygiene uh, purposes. Actually, they uh, cut uh, their uh, heads uh, completely and because of the fleas and uh, need to, to, be, to look, uh, needed to look more nicer. Uh, more nice. and uh, because of that they were weeks and you know actually uh, it uh, reminds me of the image of the uh, uh, dames uh, old uh, wo woman or women uh, women uh, with uh, these dogs with little dogs on their uh, in their hands do, do, do you know why they <laughs> use this dog in what purposes no Actually, to reduce the uh, amount of fleas because of the beach. Uh -huh. The dogs uh, attract uh, the fleas and uh, women uh, felt more easier. <laughs> Don't we have different types of fleas that want to take a piece of us? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but today, I think uh, weeks is uh, quite obsolete. Um, but I think it could be nice. It could be fine. Yeah, it could be fun. I would do that. Well, it is. It is interesting because uh, I mean, all not all, but the majority of uh, customs concerning appearance were actually dictated by uh, sanitary norms, right? That it was all about uh, hygiene, about uh, sanitizing, about preventing some diseases, which is. Like and then to look at the transformation of this uh, absolutely reasonable uh, concept into a fashion thing is just ridiculous. And uh, yeah, I think it's hard to predict the ways of fashion because, uh, of course, the hygiene and some norms contribute a lot in it. But uh, sometimes it depends on fantasies of people who may be stoned and uh, create something out of the blue without any reason, just by their uh, imagination. Fantasy. Like our uh, uh, modern uh, people, fashion designers and so on. So, uh, going back to, to the book thing, um, did, you, did you say everything you wanted to say about that, um, that uh, support I did. Support skis, uh, I did. Writing? Yeah. Okay. Uh, how much do you think, how much time do you need to complete this book? Oh, it's pretty short, actually. If you are a fast reader or at least a regular one, uh -huh. I would say a week at the, at most mm -hmm. but for you how much is going to take oh it's been two, two months you said yes two, two months yeah more than two months ah you you, you finished it no not yet uh -huh. i'm still i'm still reading. okay so it's going to be three months okay. when, I, when i'm finished 
Well, still it is good. I mean, three months, I would say, by current life pace, uh, measuring what we have now happening around, it's pretty good. Like three months, one oh. book. If you work pretty much, mm, I think it's still a good result. A good result. I guess people just devour books now. They they read three books a week, not not one in three months now. Well, devour regarding the circumstances concerning. Ha! Uh -huh. You mean that ah uh, yeah that, that that we are now uh, like, uh, isolated and have nothing to do. Can you tell me where yeah. are those people who have nothing to do? I mean that's just. Uh, uh, I I, I see all of them around me, but I am not one of those, and I I don't I don't get it. I, I have such friend. Uh, he is from Moscow, and he has nothing to do. Like, uh, he is uh, in he he is having his vacation now till the end of this week, and he is like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Uh, he said that uh, he had even installed Minecraft. Well, that's that, that's a good activity. Um, actually, I had. I had a conversation today, so I asked my students to, I told uh, this is my now a format of working, ask my students to bring YouTube videos and tell about them why, and uh, we discuss uh, the topics concerning, uh, which are touched in these uh, videos. And so today it was about Minecraft, and uh, I have to say that it's actually a very interesting phenomenon that Minecraft is Lego, and Lego is... Um, just uh, like why why was Lego successful? Because it's endless creativity. It is simple. It's uh, it's accessible. It's uh, well, it is expensive, yes. But uh, like if you want to invest in your child, you will buy it. And uh, Minecraft is even more accessible. You don't need to spend one thousand on one set, which is going to give you like a couple of figurines and that's all. No, you you just download the game and voila, you can like build cities. And that's what people do. They literally build cities there, and uh, the spending spending months and years. And uh, what it is actually, it's it's the future. Um, it's the future. It's like imagine we have this 3D reality with virtual glasses, so you'll be able to have an excursion, uh, go into Harry Potter's castle, which is created, uh, recreated on the Minecraft basis. And you can just wander around and look at everything with high detail, high precision. It's uh, it's incredible. I mean, and, and um, it wasn't possible before. So now it is. So Minecraft is not the worst the, the worst case. The worst, uh, I would say, maybe even the best. Uh, if people if people like it, if, if they enjoy it, uh, then cool. But I haven't tried. I love Lego, but I haven't tried Minecraft. <laughs> same thing, same thing. But I actually asked the student to think about the possibility to stream this together. So to like, I'll start Minecraft for the first time in my life. He'll be with me on Discord and will be telling me what to do in this game. So uh, rolling into Minecraft thing all together just to see how it works. It's interesting. So, Alice, what about you? Any any book that impressed you recently? Uh, like, um, my friend uh, gave me a book about North Korea, North Korean side. It's science pop. And uh, I'm like, Kirill, I'm a slow reader. Uh, uh, and uh, I, I have uh, nearly finished it. But I have a lot of science, like interesting moments inside. Yeah, like uh, I mark just very interesting moments. Uh, for example, the last one were like men in North Korea are prohibited to uh, wear like hair like this or like this or like this. That just even uh, just a single hair touches uh, their ears, they should cut them. Uh, I mean, not ears, but hair, uh, because. <laughs> Thank you for uh, it's specifying. <laughs> Because it is prohibited and uh, um, like uh, about fashion in North Korea, about uh, the uh, construction. Like this is a very good book. It's I mean scientific and it has up to date comments by their editor. So it's very good. It's analytic material and then um, so it's uh, a material to analyze. Uh, it's uh, followed by um, 
reviews, by people's uh, opinions, by uh, facts, and this is very good. I like because it's uh, this book is not uh, as much biased as, for example, you may um, watch uh, TED uh, about North Korea from refugees. Oh, exactly. TED about North Korea is biased. That's what you say. Uh, probably yes, but uh, uh, from one point of view, because there are a lot of uh, viewpoints. Uh -huh. Like uh, when you live in North Korea, you like this country, but when you move abroad and see how other people live, you're just like, oh my God, I wanna uh, go out of North Korea because they have no internet connection. That's why they do not, um, they do believe that their country is the best. Like they have a lot of propaganda in their mind, propaganda, propaganda, and propaganda. For example, they are prohibited to wear uh, tight jeans, tight jeans. Like, and um, and if you are caught or caught wearing these jeans, uh, you are behind bars uh, for a while, and policemen just uh, tell you about uh, the regime, so they. Um, like wash your brain uh, with all this propaganda. Hmm. Probably the same thing happened back in the USSR. Yes, you, yeah. Like this was the best. That was the best country, and without uh, having access uh, to the outside world, they. You, they you know, a lot that. of a lot of fashion in North Korea uh, has been taken from USSR. Uh, that must be Especially true. suits. Especially regime. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's true. Trendy. So <laughs> let's let's follow the suit. Um, oh, of actually, course, now could, could, it, it could be a joke in English. You know, like let's follow the suit and follow their suit. Uh, yeah. I think Can you explain that, please? Uh, well, I think <laughs> there is an, exp an expression in English uh, to follow the suit. Um, it's uh, like to 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 do something in the same manner uh, as uh, somebody else did it. So uh, to follow somebody's example, I think. So like uh, Jenny left the party, and I followed the suit. And uh, so the same is like about North Korea that they followed our suit in terms of the behavior and in terms of the clothes. And uh, that's mm. kind of a dubious, a dubious expression yeah. in this case. Yeah, good pun. Good pun. Yeah. I'm just... Uh, I'll have to publish this on, on YouTube. I mean, people <laughs> will uh, hate me for those jokes. <sighs> no, though, it's cool. It's cool. Um, Vadim, what about your reading? Was it, was it about actually, nuclear fission? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, actually, I read a lot of articles, but uh, uh, today I'm reading a um, detective story, detective novel of uh, John Rowling, Cuckoo Collins. And um, it's about detective strike. New series of detec uh, detectives uh, with uh, character uh, detective strike. Mm -hmm. You know, actually, I liked uh, Harry Potter because of uh, easiness of uh, comprehending English, and I think it's uh, the plot of the story of Harry Potter is quite uh, attractive to the readers. Very simple in a way, but very attractive. And the same thing with the new series. Maybe it's not new, I don't know, but I just uh, started to read. Uh, and I like it. But, uh, you know, actually, I, I feel the, that it was written by a woman because uh, the character detective uh, has some features. Very, he is very emotion, uh, emotional. Uh, he, um, how to say it? He he felt a lot of uh, feelings, uh, which uh, uh, another uh, detective who uh, was created by man's imagination doesn't feel. For example, don't feel. 
uh, he, uh, he, uh, he, uh, he, had, he had a relationship with um, uh, his fiancé, and he, uh, they uh, committed this relationship, and he thought a lot about, about it. But I never uh, seen it in uh, Man's Detective. But nevertheless, it's quite interesting, uh, very learnful English, a lot of words uh, I can uh, read and consume, new words, of course. And I find it very interesting. But you know, actually, uh, about, about several months ago, I started to read a um, novel, uh, Proud and uh, Prejudice. Prejudice. Pre pre no, I think it is. By Austin. Pride and Prejudice. Uh, pride. Yeah. Uh, pre yeah. Pride, I, I even forgot the name of yeah. your title. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, actually, I want to, uh, to raise a question. Uh, do you uh, prefer to uh, read over what you started to read? Or if you don't like it, it uh, get bored of uh, you just uh, quit this? Uh, uh, this reading and uh, start another one, mm. but uh, actually it's a it's a high classic. But I uh, started it uh, several times, resumed to read. But when I found something more, something easier and more interesting, I switched to this thing and uh, forgot for a while about forget for a while about uh, this proud and project pride and project. And uh, I know I, I I read uh, two thirds of this novel. I don't know whether to come back uh, again or just forget forget about it. But well, I, uh, uh huh. I personally started dropping books that I don't like. Uh, the same thing happened with the series and the films, just to save time for something that might bring me some joy. Let's say. Yes, but I, I uh, nevertheless I feel some regret about it because I uh, don't have a, a passion or maybe some skills to read because it's actually very learnful. Uh, a lot of words, um, complicating uh, collocations uh, there, but I just skip it and, uh, and go to the more simple thing. I Okay, have you tried it? Uh, have you tried reading it in original? I mean, the, the original. I text? always read in original because oh, uh, then... I combine two uh, activities to okay. consume some new knowledge or maybe uh, plot and uh, worry not. Learning. Uh, you won't find. Lots of... oh, excuse me. You should worry not. You won't. You won't find lots of useful expressions there. It's the nineteenth century book, I believe. Yes, but it's a kind of a kind of basis, you know. Actually, when I was young, I, um, I read a lot of Dostoevsky and Tolstoy because actually it's uh, make you uh, more uh, rich in uh, in language, in Russian language. Yeah, I would say Russian hasn't suffered so many changes in one hundred years. It's almost the same language. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, some, some yeah, some concepts they disappeared, but the language itself, it stayed well, not except with, uh, with some exception of some collocation phrases and words. For example, a lot of uh, uh, Dostoevsky give, uh, gave me a lot of interesting concept which I have no had known uh, before, and a lot of meanings of words which I have known before either. And uh, it was very strange and interesting why I hadn't known it before. But nevertheless, I, I liked it very much. And I, I gave a lot of knowledge, even in Russian. I had a lot of knowledge. Mm -hmm. So, Kirill, do you think that um, reading in English uh, can only help if we read something? modern something of the like last decades no uh, no that's well I, I was talking about this particular case because there I, I've, I've seen a video on YouTube with a teacher of English and he was using this exactly the this book this very book as an example that 
probably it would be better if you used uh, an edited version of it, like edited to like a graded reader of this mm -hmm. book. Yeah, there are yeah. a lot of phrases which I can couldn't understand. Uh, because yeah, the, uh, not only the phrases, but also the structures, the, the order structures, of course, yeah. order of the words and structure, yes. Yeah, which are not used now. But it, I mean, it can be beneficial for you, if especially if you're considering a writing career, knowing those things and uh, getting used to those uh, outdated styles. It still brings some benefit, but using it as using it mainly as a, an arsenal for your for, for widening your vocabulary the range of the vocabulary uh, that's not the base the best source i see i see but i i i've chosen it because uh, i had no any uh decent book at, at that moment but now i have <laughs> that's impossible that you didn't have a decent book i mean uh, how 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 come you did you I don't know. Actually, it it happened because you know sometimes maybe it's because of laziness. I uh, couldn't uh, have time to to find a book to uh, attract you. Excuse me. Excuse me. I just uh, need to uh, answer the call. Excuse me, please. That's why I asked to turn off <laughs> vibration. Yes. Oh, I think I need to spend time on the instructions. Uh, more time <laughs> on the instructing. Like every time when you say this is bonfire episode four five, it sounds like you are a doctor and you experiment. This is day four. Uh, <laughs> I today we are going to have a surgery. I don't think it is. I don't think it is very far from truth. Um, <laughs> about experiments. Yes. Well, regarding the theme about like reading uh, old style books, like old language books, I think it's um, more useful when you are like C2 or moving or moving to C2 because uh, I, I don't like reading, honestly speaking. I read only books uh, that are interested to me. Um, and um, course uh, I mean studying literature university literature I would like to say um, er, the, and uh, uh, the reason is why I do not recommend so if you prepare for the exam of course uh, you should read uh, you should read but you should read modern literature because like now we read some Pushkins or Lermontov's texts and we think that they were illiterate but it is not just the rules in the past were not the same as they are now. And uh, in English, there may be the same thing. I'm sure it is. Like uh, reading these old uh, books will not help you to pass the exam. But if you read modern books, yes, it will boost your vocabulary. Probably grammar if it is um, something science, scientific. Excuse me, you were saying we read Pushkin and Lermontov and we think they are illiterate? No, there there were some um, poems, I think, when they were uh, uh, not... Um, when there were punctuation marks uh, in another places or mm. um, the form of the words. Just rules were not the same, they were different and that's all. I remember it from school. I remember only sometimes quite peculiar endings uh, of words. Yes, yes. But that's this, a, that, um, that's a tiny, tiny thing. I mean, it's just kind of cherry on the cake. Nothing because uh, Pushkin has invented uh, the Russian language. I mean, Russian literature language. Let's be honest. And uh, of course, the um, language uh, hasn't changed a lot mm -hmm. from this viewpoint. Of course, the USSR period has contributed a lot, just a lot. Abbreviations, short names, um, some feminitives, of course, new words. 
Actually, about Pushkin, has did he really contribute? I uh, uh, I will hope. <laughs> uh, or, or is just yes I mean, yes. I'm, so... I've, 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 I haven't finished the theological faculty. Just uh, like. Uh, when foreign people talk about Russian writers, they usually mention Dostoevsky, Tolstoy, uh, Gogol, Chekhov, and Solzhenitsyn, and that's all. And that makes me suspicious. Yes. So, um, modern Russian language um, so was found. It, it's the language that uh, was found uh, in literature texts, and so it was like uh, created uh, in uh, Pushkin's. Epoch, era epoca so it starts from him because uh, while he was living uh, there was like kind of the um, in russian it is called makronichesky effect but the effect uh, makronichesky means when you do not understand anything just a lot of words with a lot of meanings you can't uh, understand a single word and uh, this situation was like that in the past when pushkin lived uh, that's why he decided to um, ac to accumulate everything, put it together, and make uh, so um, give some sense. So classify. Ah yes, and uh, in uh, in Pushkin's language there was a national norm or national standard of our literature um, language. I think uh, foreigners don't take Pushkin, don't bring him into account as much because, because he wrote poetry Poems, yeah. Yeah, mainly. Well, well, he was he was known as a poet first, and then as a mm -hmm. how they call it uh, as a as a writer of other not non poetry texts. There are uh, three steps. There are three stages. Yes, I was surprised as well. Like I was eighteen when I knew that I was on the first course, and I was like, "Really, Pushkin has invented like there are three stages of uh, modern Russian language, like Pushkin's epoca, USSR, and today's epoca." So it's like from this book. It was one of the books that we uh, used to, to prepare for the exam, and it's really interesting, and profound. Kirill, I wanted to ask you um, just a, a little bit different topic about online online education. So, um, have um, did you have to change a lot in your teaching style, or you basically teach online all the time? Yeah, the, 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 the latter. I I teach online mainly. Uh -huh. And uh, so. Uh, the the adjustments that I had to make to, had to make they weren't numerous. Mm -hmm. Maybe, uh, just a few of my students who I have offline they had to change to to switch to online too, and it brings some some problems because they they're not used to it. Mm -hmm. um, do you use? Uh, so I said I said uh, bro, I'm, I meant brought them. Uh, excuse me. Could, could you repeat because there was a connection problem? I, 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 I first, yeah. I first I said that it bring, but then I, oh, I remember <laughs> that it's broad. Yeah, <laughs> I, sometimes I actually it happens states. to me too. I think it's this uh, I A U pattern that that uh, steps into action, like drink, drink, drunk, and then you really want to say bring, bring, bring. I mean, that's just yeah, organic. Yeah, that's that must that's be organic. It. That must be. It. Uh -huh. So, uh, what kind of platform do you use? Zoom? I use both Zoom and Skype because I have uh, a pair of students and then just one pair and they, they're working for one hour. That would be really inconvenient to switch on, off and on mm -hmm. via Zoom. So you you uh, use uh, for one on one calls Zoom and for pair work you use Skype. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's, that's correct. Okay, was it? 
um, how long ago did you convert into online teaching? Uh, I started doing it about one and a half years ago, I guess. And I had both. I still uh, still kept some offline teaching mm -hmm. and just edited the online part where, where I could to save time because it, it mm, I had so much mm, trouble going to different places of the town because students mm -hmm. lived in different areas. And just to save time, I tried to, I tried asking, what if we switch to online? Mm -hmm. They said, okay, let's do it. And it saved me lots of loads and loads of time. Because and money too, because I don't have to travel now. I mean, I don't have to pay for, for, for the bus. I feel pretty astonished that I'm I'm uh, finding this experience quite pleasant. I mean, teaching online, and I bought this microphone, and I'm actually massively comfortable with this, which is not necessarily true about the students. That's why I'm quite curious what your students think. Have they um, come to terms with that, or maybe they actually even enjoying this? What, what's well, what's your assessment? An, uh, that's an individual thing. It, it depends on how much can you make this similar to offline uh, uh, learning now uh, how many tools can they lack in terms mm -hmm. of uh, getting the information or using the tools to 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 get knowledge mm -hmm. so if you can find suitable uh, substitutes like you have the online whiteboards you have presentations, you can use images. I, I actually believe that you have so much more here online than offline. Can, you can, can I ask you, why, why, why do you need a whiteboard online? I don't get it. Why, like, I mean, a, ch a chat uh -huh. is enough, no? Or there is something special about the board? No, the chat is often, uh, it's okay, yeah. But if you just want to uh bring some images into into your example or use in in a presentation part of a lesson like mm -hmm. to show well, yeah chat often serves the function of a whiteboard because i i just i i talked to some teachers who were just uh how to say heartbroken about the the absence of whiteboard and i was like well there is a chat like just type what you need that's that's all uh, uh i don't get it i mean but yeah but Mm -hmm. The problem mainly stays for for the children if you yeah, work yeah, with, yeah. Uh, with kids and when they have to circle something or match draw lines and draw a picture, then yeah, you yeah. have to somehow find a way to go around it. I or keep, you I, can just make a screenshot and put it on the online whiteboard and they can do their drawings and stuff. I keep forgetting that that people have children to teach. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we, we still we still tend to teach children. Yeah, I think uh, that uh, our brains uh, is uh, up to uh, understand more uh, in general, uh, more uh, precisely the pictures than the books, and the letters, and even adults it works effectively. I think it's quite. I'm going to I'm I'm going to sound quite harsh now, uh, but unfortunately in education it doesn't really matter what your brain wants. Uh, it matters what your brain has to do. And I mean, if uh, I'm just actually planning to convert back to the harsh type teacher from what I have become, uh, because um, I'm growing pretty annoyed with with what's happening. I mean, people are just. Um, I mean. I think it's it's about discipline also that people have to understand that uh, there is also I that, think there has to be education. I'm not professional in this field, but I think I read uh, some articles about it. And if you uh, want to be more effective in learning, you need to follow your uh, brain's uh, to say attitudes or uh, some regime. If your brain want, uh, wants to sleep, and at this, this, uh, at this time, you start to learn something. Your learning will be uh, less, much less effective than if you uh, choose a right time, a right place to learn. And uh, I think it works with the images. And the, pictures. Don't, don't you think that it is, it is just oversimplification? I mean, 
like a human is in inherently lazy uh like if you follow but, your brain all the time then it's going to be a sluggish life full of nothing but actually uh, laziness it's an uh, adaptive mechanism for uh development if you are lazy you imagine you have remote control but i think it uh device because of uh, laziness uh, people, uh, you uh, can uh, go to the, your TV set and uh, turn it on or off, mm -hmm. but uh, using remote control, it's for lazy people and uh, it's kind of progressive in technology. But it's but, very uh, poor example. But you know, actually, uh, knowing uh, about uh, yourself, how you uh, can uh, improve your uh, Use. For example, if I uh, started to learn English and uh, do it uh, in, in morning, it will be very effective, even if I don't want it, because my uh, brain, mind fresh. Mm -hmm. But when I start to read after my uh, job time, I feel hazy and I, I can uh, read a lot, but uh, my brain works in the, uh, like a sift. Mm. I uh, remember for a while and then for, forget it completely. Mm -hmm. And it happens over and over again because, uh, because I can't uh, uh, read books and, uh, during my uh, job time, working time. And uh, English, which in this sense, is um, less effective than if I do it during uh, much productive, uh, most productive time of my life. Mm -hmm. Uh, Alessia was going to burst with something to say, I think. Uh, so. Yes, <laughs> like uh, I absolutely agree with you, Andy, because uh, brain, first of all, uh, is, brain is uh, examined for 13%. So we know only 30% of how our brain works. And uh, it is uh, mm, so. Uh, Maybe it is proved that. No, it is proved that uh, okay. our brain uh, doesn't. Uh, so it uh, doesn't become like not ill, but uh, tight is our emotions and our body. Like uh, our brain still works while we um, sleep, sleep. So, um, and uh, uh, I don't know like about learning something before night, because for example, my brain uh, is programmed so that I may read something before I go to sleep, learn something uh, before I go to sleep. And the next day I remember it perfect like uh, the words for example new vocabulary i don't know po uh, poetry <laughs> some poetry and it really works you may program your brain as uh, you want and uh, one more thing um it was about like uh, people learn in the, the morning the better for them um if you learn in the morning you're more productive it's not true because everybody has its own regime and uh, for some scientists uh, so some scientists believe that uh, this is all just things that, oh, if I study in the morning, uh, I will be more productive. That's why they do not study like in the evening or during the afternoon. So uh, it seems like um, to be, uh, I don't remember how, I don't remember what it is in English, um, but um, so... <laughs> Andy, uh, how will it be like at Moscow? Excuse? Excuse. Oh, ah, really? Okay. Uh, so it will be like an excuse. Uh, for example, I, yes, I may work in the morning. It's my perfect time, but I may also reconstruct myself if I have to, to work in the evening and uh, in the, during the night even, uh, while like other people may work only during the night. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, the best time for them sleep during the day and work during the night. But they fall uh, the bio rhythm anyway. I, t but... I, t I said for myself, and uh, but you can ignore your biology. Mm. You need but to you sleep may... well. You, you know, of, of course you need. But not people fall. But not people fall. And but you may reconstruct your regime. As you want. Could I just uh, uh, to, not, in order not to have excuses? If you need to sleep eight hours uh, a day, how you can sleep uh, four 
hours without any damage to your health and without any damage to your mental health. If you, it's another you, problem. <laughs> It's impossible. Could I just interfere? I just want to know if Eugen uh, is still with us. I mean, Eugen, hello. Uh, is, hey. is your camera still not able to show your face? Oh, damn it. Uh, so, uh, even everyone, uh, unfortunately, you can see me. But, you know, it's even better because you can imagine what's happening with my hair now. <laughs> and So, is, is, I, I is, have... it, is it on purpose? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and I, I have a question. Just a moment. Yeah. My question is... Where is uh, ice cream? And <laughs> ice cream is here. Ah, here. Oh, it's here. Okay, that's really good. So you know, I I called Obama about my problem. Uh, you know, because you know, guys, I have problem on, only with Andy. Because uh, when I called, uh, I, I I he can't uh, see me unfortunately. But uh, yesterday I had several sessions. Uh, it was successful enough and. I have no idea why, why uh, they are against uh, our, our communication here. Unfortunately. So, do you want to say that you were talking to some people and they saw your video? Yeah, yeah. I had no problem at all. Seriously. Yes. Yeah, it's your fault. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I I hate this world. Uh, why? <laughs> Why is, why is it happening? I mean, what's what what could be the possible logic? Like it's the internet. I mean, uh, I sent you a link, and this link is just a link to a site, and uh, there is no possible connection between my laptop and your phone. Why exactly me that spoils your camera? What is the point of that? It's American sanctions, so I have. Only so one. Who, <laughs> who did you talk to? Uh, you... uh, so, so, uh, I just, you know, I, I found, uh, on my old phone and just checked, uh, the, how it works and everything was okay. Just, uh, you know, I, 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 I was able to see, to see me on both, uh, screens. Yeah. And then I called my friend, uh, who's doing Comi Republic and everything was successful too. Yes, so, but you know, it, it's it's even better. Come on, this. Uh, no, it's not society, better. I I want uh, to understand this freaking thing. I mean, how is it possible that only in this exact situation your your camera doesn't work? It doesn't make sense at all. I mean, what is it about? It's... Um, I I don't know maybe I'm in an important place and you shouldn't see uh, you know, <laughs> what's Fine. behind me. Well, that's another argument for switching to Zoom actually because that's just I will say what I think of that in Russian, but um, still I think people will understand and um, don't want to use bad language. <clears throat> Sorry for interrupting, but yeah. I think the problem could be in allowing the camera to be used in Hangouts because it asks you to allow it to use the mic and the camera. Maybe he just missed the, this part. Of course, it's obvious reason, but we checked everything. Yeah, we, we spent one hour last week just to, to try to fix this and nothing helped. Like we went to the settings on Android, uh, we installed and reinstalled and uh, even installed the non-official version of the application. Mm. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, what do you think? Is it is it Obama thinks uh, or Trump think? Uh, who whose fault it is? Putin's thing. Navalny. Uh, it is Navalny. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh damn it! Uh, so, guys, uh, I want I want to uh, add something. Uh, I, uh, I'm talking about the topic. Mm -hmm. uh, you told. Uh, I'm talking about brain about scheduled uh, some people I suppose uh, to wake up early and so on i think that everything depends on uh, satisfaction if you are satisfied to wake up uh, early so uh, you will be glad to do it if it's beneficial to wake up uh, a bit later why not so that's why i, I think you know this biological thing it doesn't work it's my opinion so did they say bullshit? No? Uh, I don't know yet. I mean, could you explain your point in more like elaborate manner, like more details, maybe, uh, m maybe examples, maybe examples. Okay. For example, uh, 
if of oh, this conditions uh conditions i i don't want to use it today yeah i don't want to uh, make you to be disappointed so uh if we're talking about waking up early uh for example uh you can earn some uh you, you can earn more money so uh, everything would you would uh, left just wake up earlier so you will be satisfied with this and uh, i don't see any problem uh, to wake up early even if you are old even yeah. even if you are oh you know my problem with our letter oval it is bird night bird oh an owl okay owl yeah no, no, yeah an owl I thought yeah. all oval, like if you are oval, yeah. I, I, what if I, what, what if I, what if I, if I'm square, I, is it a problem? <laughs> Lushage, vodka, I know, yeah, but it wasn't about L, it was about A, owl, uh, not A, it sound A, ah, owl. Okay, you, you want to humiliate, humiliate me more. No, I, I don't. I'm, hey, I'm, thank I'm, you very much. Yeah. No. <laughs> Come on. Well, uh... Good what job. if they if they propose? I mean, they like some people propose to not sleep at all, and they give you they would give you a large amount amount of money and any food that you want. This must keep your brain happy and satisfied. But will you be able to stay away from sleeping or uh, fall uh, asleep? Unfortunately, we need. The... To, uh, to sleep and of course because it's yeah, I volunteer, I it's volunteer to check that theory i can be a guinea pig here so you can prepare your money i'll check okay. it out for you unfortunately uh, nature in intended uh, sleep for us and uh, you know I, I i would try you know <laughs> so would i yeah uh guys uh i tried to read a new book yesterday Okay. Uh, ha has someone read something you are written by Kafka? I try to. J I, I... Guys, just, just tell me, please. Uh, you know, I'm risking to appear myself not sophisticated so i suppose but i have no idea what's happening there uh you know uh i i read only one book it was process and i i didn't find any glue between chapters it just random episodes and oh, just oh, just what the magic uh, it's like a uh, black square in a gallery isn't um, tell me please uh just a second uh, i have to open the door okay i'm i'm listening uh no open the door it's it's it's, it's kafka <laughs> have you read process process I... I've read uh, Castle, several Castle? several of his um, several of his uh, stories. Mm -hmm. He is uh, uh, I, I he was on my avatar picture for at least a year and still is on Telegram. Not him exactly, oh. but uh, a picture of a man with tattoos on his hands, ex prisoner, uh, reading mm -hmm. Kafka mm -hmm. and drinking Baltica Seven. That's uh, oh. like my favorite avatar okay. used to be, at least. So Damn Kafka it. is something very, very interesting. Definitely is. Um, is. Kafka is not an easy reading. It is not. It is something uh, very, very um, eccentric. You, you have to be prepared for that. Maybe use some glue. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, next time I will prepare, definitely. Uh, uh, which and, one? And, and, uh, and, and then you will you will see it between the pages and not only. And uh... Uh, <laughs> I need to glue the page here. Yeah? <laughs> glue the book. <laughs> Definitely, it's the best way to read Kafka. In the plastic bag. Uh, so. Yeah. Mm, uh, have you finished? I have one more question. The tragedy with Castle is. Uh huh. I have this book. It's like 400 pages, I think, plus or minus. So, mm -hmm. and I finished it. It mm -hmm. was it was a very hard path, very hard. Uh, I was fighting with the book. And then the ending page was saying the book hadn't been finished by Kafka. Mm. 
So I wanted to finish. I was actually infuriated. I was just, what the hell? I wanted to know mm -hmm. how this uh, hell is going to, to what, 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 what should be the, the ending part. And I, I never, of course, have it, had, had, had a chance to, to check. And uh, so that's my experience. But uh, the, his stories were quite lovely. I mean, that's this, um, oh, I don't know how this style is called. Uh, Surrealism, I don't know, which is it, which is open for interpretation. I mean, it's uh, like harms, but more sophisticated and more kind of uh, no. th there. There is a lot of depth. Well, I mean, the stories that I that I read, it's kind of uh -huh. it's kind of this mastery of, uh, you know, what they say. If you if you if you can't write poems, you become a uh, story writer. If you can't write stories, you become a novelist. Because because it's more difficult to write a poem than to write a story. It's more difficult to write a story than to write a novel, uh, because you have to, to to start, to give the idea and to finish. And this all should be done properly. Well, if you're not able to do that, unfortunately, you have to write a novel. And so, in the, in his stories, it was quite uh, interesting to 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 try to interpret and kind of apply it on on yourself. Uh, and I think Kafka came at the same period as, for example, Emile Choran. Emile Choran is a radical depressionist, uh, French radical depressionist, I call him, uh, talking about darkness and, and all the possible negative things. And uh, so he has this book where there are like short phrases about different, different topics, kind of, uh, kind of like jokes, but they're not jokes, they're the opposite. They're kind of uh, condemnations or... Uh, the, the damnations or whatever so uh, curses about life and so on and uh, it's uh, like reading anecdotes or like reading jokes you have to have this connection to the story some kind of background or understanding of the context to actually open up the the um, the, the essence of the of the thing and it's not an easy thing not an easy story not an easy um, enterprise so uh, about Malevich as you mentioned Malevich so you know what's what's nice about Malevich I just re recently realized why modern art is actually art in this case and like everyone says why Malevich uh, is so famous or what's like what's wrong with people like this is not art because my daughter can do the same so the point is that they were the first they were the first and that's it so that you are so talented you have so much art inside that you actually can do something and you'll be the first and this way you will stretch the civilization border forward so nobody else did it before you and that's that's the, that's the importance that's why you become famous if you come up with something so special that nobody else could repeat it nobody else could have the same idea and uh, after you of course everyone will do this everyone Every, everyone and his cousin, but you were the first, and that makes you special. And uh, that's why interpreting modern art's uh, value retrospectively is pointless. It's not, it doesn't work like that. Uh, the, the value of Malevich and all the other people who now criticize like it is bullshit. No, it's not bullshit because they, they stretched the human reality. They, they were kind of pushing the borders more and more and more with music with uh, with art with um, with books and so on so Kafka was pushing together with other writers of the same style they were pushing this kind of uh, very cloudy vague way of explaining things maybe and actually it's about the book that I read uh, it's uh, professor Jordan Peterson from Canada he has nice YouTube lectures so he was talking about shamans and uh, the the idea of this value of artists and um, uh, such people is that they uh, they don't really understand what they're doing they're experimenting so there is some kind of idea that gets stuck in their head and uh, they are controlled by this idea they are almost possessed and uh, until they put this idea into life they they they're not free they're actually suffering so uh, like a shaman like a shaman who is bridging between um uh, between uh, some outer worlds outlandish uh 
outworldly experiences and our local experiences. The same happens here. They don't really know, but they become those vessels which uh, contain some specific future of our civilization. Then they unleash it and the civilization goes forward, consuming this artist. And that becomes their important role in the development. And that's, what, that's why we pay them so much. Uh, which, interestingly, doesn't really matter, I think, to them. <laughs> because uh, if, if you're able to do something like that, that's pretty much the payment already. Uh, I know it's very convenient to call people who don't understand your art, uh, people who who didn't get the point, you know. Okay. <laughs> That's why. Uh, by the way, when I uh, when you use uh, Hangouts app mm -hmm. and press uh, someone uh, someone picture, it turns out into a square made by Malevich. You can see this. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Can I see? Uh, is it the same uh, laptop version? <laughs> no. Okay, guys, uh, I have one more question that's a more important one. Uh, have, have someone donated uh, blood? Could you, can you sh share your experience? Uh, can you, can, it's can, can you share blood? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, First of all. I just wanted to say something to Vadim. Oh, 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 maybe maybe that's worth a joke in the world, but I just got it. Just just a second. If okay, if put uh, the first uh, the first just a moment uh, the first option of blood into the second version of blood, uh, it would be uh, the third one or no? It will be one point half. Ah. <laughs> No, it's like, is it math? No. It's, it's bullshit. Both what I said and what you said. <laughs> okay. So uh, I need your experience. Have, have someone been there. Have I, someone yeah, been I there. just want to say something to Vadim. Vadim, could you please turn off the vibration? You almost killed my ears twice. Okay, excuse me. Sorry. Uh -huh. But I, I did it. Out. Uh, maybe it's about... You are actually uh, headphones very sensible. You no, it's not my headphones. <laughs> it's uh, I mean I I I I, I'm, I I can guarantee you people on the stream will also appreciate. Uh, and your links uh, are very sensible too, by the way. Who are sensible? Uh, links, links, yeah, yeah, <laughs> sensible too, good, because uh, you can see me. Because your oh, links. Li Okay, that was very deep. Uh, but but not not sensible, but sensitive. <clears throat> sensitive. Ah. Yeah. So about. Stimulating. No. Uh, well. Is it better? Excuse me. I don't know. Life no hasn't improved. No, please, uh, please. Uh, I mean, uh, please uh, turn on your vibration, please. Uh, I like to see us annoying it for <laughs> Andy. <Please. laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you you were asking about what? What what what's better? Well, vibration and some uh, disgusting sounds if you I don't know. Something. I mean, if if somebody calls you I will know, but uh, I mean <laughs> I, I, unfortunately, I can uh, do it uh, because when uh, somebody calls me, you you hear it. Uh, anyway, I need to uh, reinstall the system because I I have only one smartphone uh, to uh. Use it as a microphone. Because are, are you, please uh, sh sh share your mobile number. Number. I'm gonna send a message. So, guys, I'm still curious about what. Uh, you are not experienced at all. Just uh, I have no idea what's waiting for me there. Give them time to answer. Five seconds. That's the role of the teachers. Uh, if you ask a question, five seconds at least. Five seconds. Yeah. So the question uh, was: Make it, make it you, ten for online. Yeah. Have you ever donated blood? I cannot. Uh, I uh, do not have weight uh, needed for it. Oh. I donated once. Ah. Uh, so how it was? How was it? Quite comfortable, I think. Uh, you know, actually, if you are prepared, it, it will be okay. 
you they take maybe 400 milliliters not uh, much you know actually they mm -hmm. give you some present not a present but uh, some i think it's a grant for your donating i mean uh, medical uh, officials uh, it's uh, mm -hmm. I, of course actually it's uh, very uh, some, some for someone uh, it's um, very beneficial because if you donate blood and you can uh, have extra holiday paid holiday if you work officially and uh, uh -huh. uh, you uh, can uh, use holiday as when uh, the day when you donate blood and, uh, and another one extra and you can give uh, some uh, chocolates, sweets to, uh, have to say, to uh, protect you or to support you because you're losing some blood. And... But I don't, I didn't feel any uh, discomfort and uh, some troubles with health. It's quite, but it, of course, it depends on your uh, body and your organ how it stays. But for me, it was. Good. Fine. You know, ch ch chocolate is cool, but actually, that's not reason to donate blood for me. <laughs> Maybe ah. well, it, it, it can sound uh, a bit uh, you know, weird, de definitely, because uh, the real reason is my procrastination. I'm gonna fight it. Uh, uh, actually, I have, I have read one book by uh, Peter, uh, Peter Ludwig, I suppose, yeah, it's, it's his name. And uh, uh, there was written that uh, to fight procrastination, we need to be satisfied every time, uh, mostly, definitely. And he separated uh, ego on uh, two parts. Uh, ego, the first ego and ego 2.0. The second one, it's altruism. And if you can do something for other people, it, uh, you know, it makes sense because uh, it's something like a destiny, something kind of uh, vocation. I'm talking about this, yeah. And so the real reason for me it's uh, procrastination. I hope uh, donating blood, I will be able to step over this. <laughs> but uh, but uh, you are interested uh, in it. Uh, why sorry? are you interested? You are interested in it. Uh, I mean, uh, you uh, you ask the question, and I yes. think you. And why you you heard some news, or you just wanted uh, to donate blood, but yeah, because yeah. you procrastinate, and you actually you know, I'm donating I'm donating blood this uh, steadily. Yeah, so that's why I asked. You donating steadily? You mean uh, you're a regular? Uh, in, the, in the first time. Yeah, I'm a noob. Yeah, oh. so, yeah. The, the, that's why I was curious. Noob yeah. bot? You mean? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. Oh, just a second. Uh, all of you are from Krasnoyarsk. Uh, guys. Yeah. Uh, and your your uh, your current location is Krasnoyarsk, too, right? Right. <laughs> oh, Tell us what what's happening outside, Chris. I open my window and I can see the opposite, uh, the opposite building. I, I, I smell some smoke in there. My uh, balcony window is open and uh, it's hard to breathe. No, there's something uh, happening. Don't, don't start is it this again, please. This. Uh... No, no, is it is forest thing? Uh, I think yes. Fire, what was the forest? What was I supposed to start, uh, in your opinion, Andy? Uh, Vadim was planning to begin uh, this. I'm <laughs> playing? Yeah, about, <laughs> about air. Um, about air? Yeah. So yeah. That, that's, that's amazing. You can, you can smoke grass in the for free. You're welcome, man. Yeah. I do it and I have no problems with this. Yeah, definitely. And in, you know, when I, when I leave Krasnoyarsk, I want to return just to smoke. Uh, to smoke Tomsk or Moscow, that's that's not so. That's not my option. Uh, no, Krasnoyarsk is like parliament, and <laughs> Tomsk is like Troika kind of. <laughs> kind of 
Yeah, but if we are talking about my village, it's it's like you know a uh, handmade one kind of that, <laughs> but without without uh, how technically this uh, this item which you put inside the uh, uh, paper, uh, just technically tobacco. Yeah, this one. Yeah, so if we're talking about my village, no tobacco at all. Just just some gross. <laughs> yes. And... Yeah, it it it, it was uh, interesting geography with, with me. Yeah, you were... <laughs> yeah. If I were a teacher, I would I would use this system. <laughs> I I think Eugen, you need to replace my my me next time. I mean, just uh... <laughs> ask you... questions. No, uh, no, he doesn't need to ask questions. I mean, he can ask questions, but answer them himself, and then uh, just. <laughs> <laughs> It's like uh, you joke, you laugh. Yeah. Yeah. I, no. I mean, and every, everybody also laughs. I mean, it's 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 really cool. I mean, jokes are really high standard, and they they are really hilarious. That's why I'm saying it's like a show, humorous show. That's why I'm still alive, for being alone alone in my flat. You know? <laughs> yeah, I'm just talking to myself and joking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and uh, actually, I've. You know, you know. Actually, I have uh, made up several jokes. I have a notebook, but you know, it's like uh, this this uh, h- human rules. I can't remember uh, any, any single one. Uh, okay, forget about this. We will, we will, we will discuss it. It's uh, it's actually a good ground. Hand for... up. Oh. Sorry. Oh like, yeah, yes, uh, like, yes. Uh, Why not? Why you not? Should, have you ever tried yourself in stand up? Uh. Uh, actually, no, and uh, I'm not gonna because come on, uh, you know, when you prepare something specially, it's not go- gonna be uh, hilarious, I'm sure. I yeah, don't, I don't I, think I, it's about this the... magic, this magic happens uh, spontaneously. So that's that's the point, like, you just go to the stage and try to uh, make fun uh, of people or just produce fun. And uh, I think with your level of uh, being spontaneous, of the ability of being spontaneous and joke impromptu, I think you can pretty much succeed. Uh, 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 about this, um, technically is the noun of uh, spontaneous. Spontaneous, right? Spontaneousity, I need the noun. I would say spontaneousness. Uh, spontaneousness. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Just... Okay, thank you very much. Last December, we discussed then the, my China trip, and <laughs> the next day I just sent him information that I'm flying to Istanbul. <laughs> it's all what you need to know about my spontaneous. No, it's, uh, yeah, it's uh, uh, K- K- Kirill was right. It is spont- uh, spontaneity. 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 Mm-hmm. Okay, thank, thank you very much. Yeah. So, like, Eugene, you may have a secretary who writes down your jokes and phrases. I have my friend, so you have, you may have another secretary. <laughs> secretary, yeah, it, it will be the poorest man in the world because he's so... He's gonna be... You will pay uh, him or her with emotions. Oh. <laughs> what can be better? Like, uh, if you laugh, you prolong your life. So uh, you will give this person like endless life. Endless. Misery. I remember one joke. I remember yeah. one joke. Yeah. Uh, when when Alisa when Alisa mentioned uh, you would pay him with emotion, and uh, there was this dialogue between a man uh, between a husband and a wife, and uh, talking about the the their child's happiness, future happiness. Uh, like if he goes to one uni he would be that happy and if he goes to another one he would be this happy so they were describing or they were discussing his happiness and then he the husband called the uni and asked hey stanford do you accept happiness as a currency can i pay you in happiness (laughs) so the same here can i pay you with emotion can i go and uh, buy some food for emotion well uh oil you can well, mm-hmm. ah, <laughs> especially yeah, now. Mm-hmm. Well, only now. Probably they'll they'll give you something in exchange. Yeah, you... some real money, actually. But it's... it was like uh, he... my friend's initiative, not not mine. 
he, he she likes uh, writes um, she likes writing down everything that uh, is interesting uh, to her mm. well, i imagine she writes a lot she's also a journalist like you alisa yes it's natasha probably you oh, remember yes, yes. Mm -hmm. kirill i think uh, remembers yeah, yeah. A story about buckwheat and <laughs> buckwheat. But oh, oh, guys, guys, tell me please, why nobody uh, knows buckwheats beyond the Russian Federation border? Nobody, really. Every time yeah. <laughs> next trip, I, I'm gonna take uh, some pack of buckwheats for you. Why you may buy same products like uh, in another country, but no, nobody knows buckwheat. Beyond Russian border, nobody. No, but, just, but, just because of should, having the word buckwheat, it means that they know it's existing. <laughs> no, no, no. Even, even when I but, show them pictures, and uh, but you travel yeah. to another country, you should just try local food. It's my, uh, in my humble opinion, so you just plunge into another culture and try their local food. No, actually, it's a real. Yeah. Uh, I noticed it uh, in many countries. They don't have backbeat. That's uh, no, it's not a problem. <laughs> it's not a problem. It's a riddle. Uh, I think it's 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 very specific. It's it tastes very. It has a very specific taste, which is I think, which which is necessary to develop since childhood. Uh, like if you started when you are adult, I think it just it tastes too pecu peculiar. And just let me answer a message from the chat. So uh, there is this uh, Purple Dogo says I want to talk too. So unfortunately, today I think we'll be uh, finishing very soon. So, but you are very welcome to join on Saturday. You know how to contact me. So please. Uh, and yeah, uh, talking about the, the ending stage. So I just wanted to ask you guys to give some feedback uh, on today's meeting, just uh, it wasn't. I think, I strangely it doesn't feel long, as long as the previous ones. But it, it is the same. I mean, it's the same uh, timing. It's almost two hours, if not two hours and more. Uh, so, but it's, it's just vanished quite quite quickly. And uh, I don't know if it is a good sign or a bad sign. But I'd like to hear your uh, feedback. So, um, Kirill, I think as you are the first time here, could you please tell what was your expectations yeah, maybe sure. and, and what was that about? For me, everything was perfect. First, thanks for having me. It was an amazing experience for me, an amazing experience. And uh, I, I thought of it, well, I, I, don't ha I, don't, I didn't have any expectations, uh, honestly, but the conversation was pretty lively it was interesting the we, the topics changed they came and went uh, and it was good i was interested uh, i there wasn't a single moment when i wanted to hang up mm. and leave you guys so i would love to repeat that feel free i mean Thank like it will, it will be just a nice show like well guys sorry like that's all <laughs> just... yeah <laughs> Well, I really appreciate it, and uh, I would happy I'd be happy to see you and Kate uh, on the on the call if if you have some time. I'll I'll message you about that later after the after the stream. Uh, Vadim, what should sure. you say? Uh, I'm interesting. Is it possible in Zoom to throw tomatoes? I mean, virtual tomatoes. <laughs> no point. <laughs> but it's a joke. Of course. <laughs> I will. I will have uh, tom tomatoes uh, next time here on the on the sofa. Actually, I don't. Have, uh, I didn't have uh, opinions, but I, I am thinking about uh, special effects, and um, I, it was very, it was very fine. I think uh, very how to say dense conversation, except my interruption. But I am, unfortunately, I need to to call to answer to my boss, and uh, the job uh, never leave me and uh, never left me. And uh, but I, I like it uh, as well as uh, and uh, and not job of course job of course I like too because it brings me some emotions some value. emotions <laughs> emotions <laughs> yeah it's, it's more, uh, most important thing in life 
<laughs> but you know, actually, I like it. But you actually, if to be uh, uh, accurate, we uh, our meeting they took time less time, maybe twenty minutes less uh, than uh, previous one. And uh, because of that, maybe it uh, it uh, seems uh, shorter maybe, and denser in in content. I like it very much. Very different uh, people, and Alicia became very different maybe because of light. And, yes, uh, Le electricity has been turned off unexpectedly. Really? I oh. turned on my uh, oh. flashlight on the phone. Yeah. Oh. Now, okay. like standing uh, in front of the mirror and talking to you. Was th was there a meow? Oh. I heard meow. I, no, I heard it's... oink. <laughs> oink. <laughs> Again, hallucinations. As usual, music and sounds, topics. Well, last time it was meeting. worse. Last time it was uh, ukulele, and I think ukulele, ukulele is worse than meow. Uh, I mean, in terms of like hallucinating level, maybe I need to stop. I need to stop doing glue. And <laughs> but you are sensitive, sensitive, very sensitive. Oh, uh, I even... oh yeah. I uh, I didn't. Uh... You hear it, but you, <laughs> actually, you can imagine what okay. I what I heard when your phone vibrated. <sighs> Everybody can imagine, mm. even even me. Mm. It was. You know, Alicia, it's it's happening when uh, the sun, uh, the sun, uh, sun <laughs> the sun set. <laughs> I'm glitching. Sorry. But I'm still here. <laughs> How can the sun go out? Okay. Yeah. Sometimes it happens uh, immediately. No, Abnormal. for our area, it's quite usual. <laughs> but, but it's evening, I'm sorry. If, <laughs> if, if, if Yunjin if Yunjin wanted to joke this level, I mean, <laughs> it's just dark. <laughs> but imagine, so if, sorry, but imagine if Bill's uh, light uh, has been turned off. <sighs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so Alice, what was your impression of the of the conversation? Topic uh, is a great theme. I mean, like we started to talk about books, and then other themes, themes, themes again. And it, it's very. Mm, I think it's like a golden theme. It's very good. So topics, topics are necessary as far as I can judge. For, the... for in the beginning, yes, probably like then, mm -hmm. but. Mm -hmm change 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 the themes uh, uh, are changing like mm -hmm. as the time goes by mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay got you Eugen uh, so first of all your stream can uh, could be much worse uh, <laughs> if, if you had opportunity to see me because my hair cut now yeah and secondly uh, thank you very much you know you lift your mood because uh, all evening uh, I, I I spent with cheering because my, today is my small brother birthday, and uh, it was uh, so hilarious. And I was like a babysitter here. And uh, next time, if if you if you were and uh, invite me next time, I, I you know I will be I will be happier because I will be with chocolate. Yes, Vadim, you promised me chocolate. Uh, <laughs> not me. I, I... Officials. <laughs> Go okay. to officials. Okay. Can, can I can I choose the chocolate? I, I wonder if it's not. <laughs> is it possible? Uh, dark or or milk? Yeah. Oh, damn it. <laughs> okay. First of all, I need to look at the chocolate, oh, and then I will uh, make decision. So uh, thank you very much. Really, my my mood is lifted, and <laughs> yeah, it, it it was cozy enough. And as I said, uh, here's nothing to change. It's just conversation. Thank you very much. Well, there is something to change, uh, specifically Zoom. I think could we we, we could Andrew, try. Oh, sorry for interruption. Uh, you never uh, tell your feedback. Can you tell us? Yeah. Uh, it's not so easy, Emma. Eh, <laughs> you not, you are torturing us every, every single stream, but 
No, it's 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 different when you're a participant and when you're an organizer. And <clears throat> I mean, it's 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 the choice between being honest, semi-honest, or not honest at all. Uh, and that's always what okay. I'm... Keep humiliating, please. Humiliating. <laughs> But I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to humiliate, to humiliate only myself. That's the point. Uh, and I'm not sure. I'm not sure I if I want. I don't see any reason. Oh. Uh, what's what's the reason for that? Um. There are many. I mean, there are endless reasons to humiliate yourself. The the question is, should you do that? Because uh, human beings are miserable, pathetic creatures, and especially in my case. So. Uh, yeah, you see why I'm not giving feedback because I'm I'm becoming very uh, badly eloquent and that's not necessary at all. So what I want to say is that yeah, it was nice. I always feel better after such uh, meetings, or conversations, or club uh, gatherings, um, and I really I really appreciate. What's that sound? Uh... It's not me. <laughs> I, I still. Think. Okay. I still think. It's Obama. <laughs> well. Uh, I really appreciate that, uh, Eugen, you could make it because, I mean, jump in the middle of the call, that's exactly what I imagined, uh, but <clears throat> people don't really feel enthusiastic about it uh, yet, which is, of course, not as delightful as I um, imagined it, but uh, it's nice that you managed to do that, and I'm really thankful for that. Uh, I'm thankful to Vadim and Alessia for being permanent members, that is really uh, very important because like when you when you can rely on someone uh, who always keeps the promise that's <clears throat> just outstanding and Kirill thanks to you for being initiative and uh, being initiative so that you actually like didn't I, I didn't have to find somebody and like please please come uh, that, 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 that it was you who initiated the thing and I'm really really grateful for that and uh, also my thanks to Kate because that was a kind of necessary lively discussion that we had in the beginning that was really really um, warm and I was happy to see you both I mean we as I said haven't met for a long time and uh, yeah <clears throat> I think next time we shall meet on uh, Saturday because I already promised and uh, I'm, ex I'm expecting some people to come so if you would like to, to join to secure your place uh, <laughs> radio <laughs> waves I mean now it's I guess rep rep reptiloids who are trying to and... <laughs> we, we went on a new level of frequency <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, Andy uh, I would uh, try like uh, my friend who now lives in Germany like mm -hmm. to join her mm -hmm. if she uh, uh, is not busy on, mm -hmm. sat on Saturday okay but she would like to so the person who want, who wanted to join us also is, is from Germany and uh, she's not sure for now, but uh, uh, also... I she, have plenty she, guys from Turkey who is against the, 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 Please the, not Turkey, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Please not. Okay. Uh, China? Well, the thing is that we, we, have to be, we have to be disciplined. I mean, if people really want to join, and really they will join because... Um, I am uh, becoming very surprised about the whole thing that like I I write my I write messages to my some some of my acquaintances and uh some of them really give me a cold shoulder by not responding at all and I think it's kind of strange I mean yeah. it's live and it's typical for us come on it's what it's typical for us. Um, yeah, I, 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 I'm sure that everyone has such cases. Yeah, a, a, absolutely. But I mean, what is also typical is to get upset after that. So that's what I'm experiencing. Uh, just saying. And uh, yeah, but other, uh, all in all, all in all, uh, that was great. And uh, thank you for bringing the books uh, up. I mean, the, the, the topics and I was happy to hear this Saporsky surname again because that lecture he, he delivered was really awesome and uh, Eugene I think I'll check out your book and yeah so thank you guys uh, till, ne till next time and have a nice evening and uh, you too thanks yeah. for gathering thank you, thank you. Yeah. Thanks. goodbye yes, see you guys. Bye. <clears throat>